to enable.org presents mathematical literacy, financial documents, or household budgets. What is a budget? A budget is an estimate of an income and expenditure for a set period of time. Um, right, let, let me quickly rephrase that. It's, a <laughs> it's um, not the easiest of definitions. Right, it's an estimate of an income. So we basically make a prediction of what the income, the money that comes into the household, and expenditure, the expenditure, the money that we've spent for a set period of time, a given period of time. It will be, for instance, for a month, a term, or a year. Every household has a certain income. Okay, specified specific income. To keep from go going bankrupt, we have to make sure that our income is always more than our expenses, right? And that's why a budget is so important because if we write down all the incomes and all the expenses that we have, we can easily see where we can save a little bit more money. Right, so now this is an example of a, of a budget. The mom's salary is 3,000 Rand. So the balance is 3,000 Rand. The dad's salary is 7,500 Rand. So now what we do is we say we add the 3,000 Rand, oh sorry, the 7,500 to the 3,000 Rand to get 10,500 Rand. Now the expenses are rent. So now we subtract this 2,000 from this 10,500 to get 8,500. Electricity, so we minus the 500 to get 8,000. Water is 50 Rand, so we minus the 50 Rand to get 7,950 Rand. We minus the school fees, so we get 7,450. We minus the funeral plan, so we get 7,350. We minus the study investment, so we get 6,770 Rand. We minus transport for the month, which is 1,759 Rand. It's quite a lot, but it's probably for the whole family. So we end up with 5,011 Rand. Minus cell phones, we end up with 4,411 Rand. And we minus groceries. So we, um, so we subtract the 2,500 and we end with 1,911. So <coughs> if this family subtract all their expenses from the income, they have an amount of 1,911 rand, which they can save every single month. Right. So this is an example of a budget. This is a pie chart. The income of the family, the Oh, I think it's actually other way around, isn't it? Come, well, let's go to the previous one again. Uh, previous, okay. Oh, the mum is uh, less than the dad. So it should be different way around. The mum is this part and the dad is that part of the income. The, these are the breakdown of the expenses. Groceries is a lot during the month. Rent is a large part. Savings is the bit that we had over in the end. Transport is quite a lot. Study investment is not as much. Cell phones are not as much. School fees are not as much. Electricity is not as much. Uh, and then um, the funeral plan and the water is quite a small bit. <coughs> okay, so now the question is, this is a salary. We have to calculate A, B, C, a, B, C, and D. Okay, so now we have to be able to type in here. Right, so to calculate A, we'll take 10,000 and subtract 5,000 from that. And that is equal to 5,000 rand. <coughs> So the amount for A is 5,000 Rand. Right, now groceries in the month is 4,000. So now our balance is uh, 5,000. And we subtract groceries. And that 
leaves us with a thousand rand. So it means that our balance is now one thousand rand. And lastly, assuming that we end with naught, no, not assuming, we ending with naught, um, so everything else gets to be saved. And that's why the savings for the month is 1,000 Rand. And then our balance ends with naught, which is quite good because it means that every, th every single amount is spent during the month, but it's not spent per se on certain um, expenses. It is um, we're saving the rest of our, our amount. Right, so there we have calculated A, B and C. And I thank you very much.